Hey, hi guys. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We're tuning into the energies and influences coming through for October 15th through the 21st. Remember now, only take what resonates with you, and everyone has free will, so you must keep in mind these are energies and influences. I invite you to subscribe. I would be honored to draw your energies into my channel. Let's see if we can answer a question. Off camera, I have blessed, meditated over these cards just for your energies. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background of the question. The Three of Cups, this is water energy. Feelings, emotions, instincts. The Three of Cups stands for celebration and shared enjoyed experiences. You could be attending a party, but you're thriving in these friendships. You could be experiencing emotional breakthroughs, enlarging a family, could be even finding your tribe. This is a very positive growth pattern. It's something that's been brought to completion, yet there's still more to do yet. It's just like the completion of one of the phases. There's healing, and abundance. There's going to be cooperation and you're going to get to enjoy the moment. Yes, you do deserve to have some fun. Your second card. This is the energy crossing over your path. This is the immediate future. The Page of Wands, fire energy, your energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person looks like they're ready to pro proclaim something, make an announcement. This person, it's a new energy. It could be that they're bringing you helpful information. Or this could be a firm decision about a question. Someone may stick up to, for you, make a favorable testimony. Or, this could be a rival. They could be not standing up for you. Because this is general, so we got to get, you know, this, this information to you. These are, you know, it feels like this is something that you're drawn to. It's going to accel accelerate your growth. And it's going to enable you to be more of who you are. So be open for the new thing. And it has to do with already existing deeds. This is being hopeful. You may be pursuing adventure. This is a communication that could be coming in just at the right time. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Knight of Cups, Water Energy. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. The Knight of Cups. This person chases a dream. They're emotional. This could be bringing you a message about love. This person is going to be making advances and propositions. This may even represent your true love, or your Mr. or Mrs. Wright. Some people would say this is your knight on your white horse, this is a time not to be relying on chance. And you should not be surprised if you change your mind or your priorities and go with your emotions. You might be just following your heart, sometimes making amends or offering forgiveness. There's a shadow to this card. Sometimes it stands for someone who would be using emotions to manipulate. This can also stand for a dreamer. He may not be willing to think things through too long because he, he hasn't been thinking about the long-term effects of his actions. He's searching and he's yearning. Sometimes this indicates a proposal of a marriage. It could be even a business proposition in the field of arts. Sometimes it stands for a rival in love. 
but it is a very strong passion. It has to do with love. Your fourth card, it's the future. It's the outcome. It's the results or the advice. The five of wands stands for competition. This is your energy, fire energy. The five of wands. This is competing forces are coming in. There is not a clear winner yet. You need to try not to indulge in annoyances because there may still be some problems to solve. Your personalities may clash. Your differences should be examined because it's from them that you learn new ideas and have new interesting compromises. This energy demands that you change, adapt, and grow. You might need to put in a little more effort to keep what you've already gained. There's a mediation and some challenge and struggle. You are trying to build something, but it seems to be it's coming with tests. There might be some petty hassles, but that does come with creative chaos. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The King of Pentacles. This is a wealthy, mature man. They're willing to invest in you because they think they're going to profit from you sometime in the future. This could be a father, maybe even a boss. He's someone that loves money. And he's happy to collect as much as he can. It's very clever in financial and business life. It's kind of like he's a financial wizard. He's not corrupt. He earns money through hard, patient effort. Sometimes this card indicates avoid letting yourself become dependent on your money or the opinion of outside worldly things. Sometimes caution slows up this person's decision making. But the delay often proves to be a wise move. The shadow to this card would be resistant to change. You may need to express your needs and undertake what needs to be done. And just do it. Thank you so much, you guys, you fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Stay tuned in and leave a comment. Remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm trying to keep it positive. I have a take note moment, a beacon, a guiding light to steer by. Today, there are two words that when spoken have power to change your life. These two words can create miracles. They can wipe away negativity and bring you prosperity. When you focus and feel in your heart sincerely, divine forces in the universe move things for you. These two powerful words are thank you.